All right, folks, we're going to take a look today at how we can use a couple of dynamic backgrounds to create this really great lower third titling area that works across a variety of different content. We'll do the whole thing from scratch. So let's switch gears and go over to a little bit of a clean project here. The only thing in it is a screenshot that I'm going to use eventually. And we'll get started by coming over to the library. And we'll come down to the dynamic backgrounds folder and we'll scroll down and we're just going to find this fluid motion dynamic background. All right. This is a fantastic background that you can do a lot with. We're going to do something really simple. Just use all the defaults except for colors. So we're going to go ahead and swap out the colors here and we'll get this really pretty blue green that uh, my good friend Joe Dearman came up with for this particular background. So that looks fantastic right there. Now, next thing, we're going to go grab another dynamic background. And this time, we're going to grab the half screen fill. And we're just going to put it on that third track right there. And we'll come over and change the color of this to pure black. So if we take a look at this, you see it's got a little bit of movement. And it basically is half the screen there. Uh, lots of different ways you can configure this. But we're going to twist this a little bit. So. What we're going to do is we're going to come over to the angle and we're going to bring it to 90 degrees right there. And then we're just going to bring the position down, oh, I don't know, maybe to about a 30, something close like that, about right there. And we'll take a look at that real quickly. Okay, so it's got about the position I want. It's got a little bit too much frequency. The hills and valleys here are a little too much, and so, and it's moving a little bit slow if we watch it in real time. Not quite what I want here. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna crank the speed up on this guy, and we'll crank it up to uh, about four, something right around there. And I'm just gonna come into this frequency and punch in 0.84, and we'll tab down to the amplitude, and we'll punch in 0 0.80 here, okay? And we'll scroll back a little bit and watch this. Okay, it looks pretty good. It's got about the movement, not too much movement. We're just trying to create some nice contrast that we can drop titling on top of. So the next thing I'm going to do is come up and we're going to go to the opacity slider. And we'll just bring this guy down to uh, about 70%, let's say. Right about there. So you can see through that background. And now it's time to add some text. So we'll come over to the annotations bin and we'll go ahead and grab some text here drag that down i'm going to zoom back on the timeline and then we're going to make that the same length as everything else and we'll drag it down from the center of the canvas down to the bottom of the canvas just like so and we need to add some text in here so today's focus lower thirds Okay, so just like that, you can see that that little half screen fill adjusted here creates this nice lower third titling area. And without doing anything else, it gives it nice contrast from that background and really lets it stand out. But we can make this even more versatile and have more fun with some compositing tricks here. So first up, I'm going to go ahead and select that dynamic background, the fluid motion, and I'm just going to duplicate it. Okay. So now that we've duplicated, what I'm going to do is come to the visual effects bin and we'll go and find the blur region. There we go, blur region, and we'll drag that down onto fluid motion. Okay, blur region, I've got to move the region area down here a bit and then we'll make it the, the width. And I'm not being precise on this at all, just, just blurring some area right here. And we're going to configure this a little bit. So we'll come over to the color of the blur region and we'll make it black. And we'll make the opacity of it 50% or so. Yeah, just like so. And then the final thing that we're going to do is we're going to select that half screen fill. And we're going to come up and we're going to find a media mat. So we'll scroll down, media mat, drag it onto that half screen fill and plop it on just like that. Okay, so not too much of a difference here, but if we, we turn off this original background here, 
now you can see we sort of have lots of fun color going on here. Uh, this is something that can stand on its own against any type of background and really the color choices with the dynamic background up to you. Change those to your heart's content to get the look you want. So that looks pretty good, right? Now we haven't done anything about animation here. So what we're going to do is we'll go ahead and use some behaviors for some quick and dirty animation. Um, I'm going to turn that background back on and we'll go ahead and come up to the behaviors tab. And what I'm going to do is for this half screen fill, we're going to go ahead and grab the sliding behavior and we'll drag it on to that background right there. And then what we're going to do is we're going to come over and first thing I come into the during and I always turn this to none. And we'll start off on in and we want the direction of this to be from the bottom. Okay. And we'll do the same thing on out. We want the direction from to be from the bottom. All right, let's uh, let's review this real quickly. So you can see the half screen fill pops up. Actually, it's probably easier if I turn that background back off. Let's watch that again. Background pops up. Yep. All right, and we'll move to the end. And then it animates off. Okay, cool. So now we need to animate this text. And what we're going to do for this text is I'll select it. And we'll go ahead and we'll grab the reveal behavior and we'll drag it down onto that text. Okay. And on the reveal, we're going to go to during and again, switch that to none. And we'll come back into in and we're going to make sure the direction is coming from the bottom and the movement here. We want the, the type. It says text right to left. If I open up that drop down there, I'm going to go from center to out. And so you can see this, this sort of has that feel right there. Okay. Now I want to adjust the timing a little bit. I'm going to increase the speed of this to, I don't know, 94 is good. And I'm going to bring the offset back a little bit, maybe to, there we go. And we'll watch this and you can see it's still moving a little, it's moving up into place before that background moves up into place. And so the way we're going to fix this is probably uh, right about there. We'll just bring this forward. Okay. So nice thing about behaviors is they, they are pinned to the edges, the front and the end of the media. So when you trim it, you don't lose any of the behavior. You're just changing where it starts. So maybe, maybe that's about right. Um, let's watch it in real time. That's pretty good. Close enough for us in, in this video. We'll come to the end here. It's just going to scroll down. And we're going to do the same thing on the out. So we'll come over here direction. We want bottom and on the out for the type this time, we're going to do out to center instead of we're just reversing the behavior there. And we're going to do the same thing with speed. We'll move up to 94 and we'll move the offset back to, Oh, uh, let's get back to two. I think right about there. And we're going to probably have that same problem. Yep, you see the uh, the lower third area moves out before the text does. So we'll get to about right here and maybe trim this text area back a little bit. So looks like it's pulling it down. Maybe, maybe if we move out here one more, I'm going to zoom in a little bit and we'll drag this guy out a little bit, let it hang around a little bit longer. Yeah, maybe not quite there. Right about there. Starting to get there. Slowly but surely we'll pull this into the right position. Yeah. Mm. Let's see what this is like. No. Okay. And you don't have to be perfect. I'm I'm probably being a little OCD here for this particular yeah, that's that's about what I want. So now, if we watch the end of that, yep, pulls right down. So, all right, I'm going to zoom back out on the timeline here. And we've got this lower third titling area with an animation that looks pretty good. Yep. And you can see if I turn back on that background, it's going to look good no matter what. Bam, looks good like that. And yep, like that. And now sort of for the final piece, what we're going to do is we'll just come back to the media bin 
and I'm going to drag this track 5 down to uh, position over the top of that first background. And we're going to go grab that screenshot that I've got and we'll put it into position here. And we'll make it the, the length of everything. And let's start this screenshot off. I think we want it to be fairly large. So we're going to come in here. Oops, I've got the wrong thing selected. There we go. Screenshot. 100%. Boom, like that, and uh, just grab that handle there and kind of move it into position right about there. So we'll start off, so it's, it's like this, and you look at the lower third, looks great over the top of that. Again, we're creating that area so there's contrast and a little bit of visual interest here to just help that text stand out no matter what content it's over the top of. All right, so we've got that into position. And the final thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna extend the screenshot and that background underneath it a little bit here. And we're gonna come back out on that screenshot. We'll come to the end here, right about so. Maybe even right there. Select that screenshot and we'll add a custom animation. I'm gonna use a keyboard shortcut here. And I'll zoom in so it's easier for me to grab that animation tail and I grab that and I'm gonna make this two seconds long or so right about right about there okay and what I want to do is I want to zoom this guy back out so I selected that frontmost the head of the, the animation and I'm gonna make this 50% in scale and we're gonna reposition it right here yeah right about there seems right and we'll just see what this looks like now. Deselect everything. And we'll watch this move get made here. Zooms back out. Lower third disappears. Yeah. Look at that. Just like that, we've got a really killer lower third titling area that can be used over any type of content. We've spruced it up with a dynamic background that, that just gives it some color oomph. It's just super simple to do in Camtasia. Hope you enjoy.